Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This is not an unboxing. It's more of an unpackaging, I guess. Uh, these are the Chinese ration biscuits that were received in an earlier zip box that I said I'll be reviewing ages ago. Uh, my man Nick has been busting my chops for ages to review these. Uh, so I finally got around to it. It is nearly 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm about to have a cup of tea and do a bit of housework. And I thought, why don't I have a biscuit with my cup of tea? Don't have any in the house, but I have these. I thought, uh, perfect opportunity to bust the camera out. Um, enjoy a cup of tea. I have it white and one, if you're interested. Probably not, but anyway. Uh, yeah, and I'll break these open and have it with my tea. Uh, I don't really know what it says on the front. I did try and use this app, which you take a photo of the text and it translates it for you. If it's gonna... There we go. Um, I can't make any sense of that. I don't know what it says. Um, don't mind my smash screen. Yeah, so the date on the back says the 21st of the 7th, 2018. I'm not sure if that's the expiry or if that's the manufacture date. Um, I'm hoping it's a manufacture date. But um, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, they feel rock hard. Now, I don't know if that's because they're super hard biscuits or this, the vacuum seal has um, held them together really, really tightly. Um, but let's bust in and see what it's all about. There doesn't seem to be a notch to tear it open. That's okay. Ooh, nice hiss. So straight up, we have individually wrapped portions. We can get it out. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four biscuits. And they're all individually wrapped in plastic. So I guess they can be broken down into two pieces each. Why are you no focus? So they've got this really interesting marble sort of, not marble, but... Yeah, I don't know what you call that, but it's a really interesting color scheme, texturing on the back. I'm not sure. We'll get into it. Oh, I sprayed myself with crumbs. Oh, wow. That smells really good. It smells like a shortbread. It's a little bit crumbly, a little bit floury, and a little bit break off. But um, that just smells like a shortbread biscuit. It does feel very hard. That smells fantastic. Let's see how hard it is. All right, that just crumbles like a shortbread biscuit. It's got like a vanilla taste to it. It's a shortbread texture, but it's a little bit chunky, almost like there's nuts or something in here. I don't think there is, but it's got like a nut sort of texture. Oh, that tastes fantastic. So, I don't know, it looks a little bit like it might be, might have some sort of nut or something in it. Why are you no focus? Yes, I don't know what that is. If that's all I had to survive on, I'd be very, very happy. It is hard, but it crumbles very easily. I'm assuming these are very high calorie because they are a survival biscuit, which I would assume have a high fat content, but it doesn't leave like an oily residue in your mouth. You know, sometimes with a shortbread or high oil biscuits, you feel like a little bit of an oil slick, it sticks to the roof of your mouth and to the inside of your gums, uh, inside of your cheeks. There's none of that. It feels very, very clean. Um, this is delicious. How about we dunk it? Oh, yeah. This is fantastic. These are so good. If you haven't already busted these out and you're not really sure if you're going to need them to survive, just have them with a cup of tea or a coffee. These are delicious. So that's it. That's all from me. Um, there you go, Nick. I came through for you in the end. Eventually, it only took like six months, but I got there in the end. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, check you check you out next time.